Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and this is me reflecting back on week nine of my MSM vitamin C and collagen experiment. And today I officially entered week 10. I am doing this right here because I decided that doing the length check is so complicated that I would actually um, do it at the beginning and get it over with. So here you go. Let me show you. I've been holding it. I pinned it. Let's get this over with so that we can get to the point. Here we go. We are officially at 14 inches. There you go. How about that? <laughs> it takes me so long to do this and it is uncomfortable. It is my least favorite thing and it all, it's also my favorite thing to do because I get to see how much it's grown and to see if this is actually for real. I think we've proven it at this point that MSM really does make your hair growth. The proof is in the videos. So I went ahead, I pinned up, I pulled down, I'm holding on for dear life. My, my fingers are turning white and now I get to let it go. All right. Ow, I forgot I had a bobby pin in there. All right, all right. There we go. Okay. Now, I also wanted to show you my nail growth. Because MSM also helps your nail grow. If you see from last week's video and the video before that, I've been trying to make a point to show you how much my nails have grown. There they go, that's this week. That is what you can expect. Now, I had actually started cutting on this side because I, I was trimming them down and then I stopped myself. Uh, I said, nope, let me show how that's going before I go ahead and I finish taking these off. The reason why I was taking them off is because if you see about three weeks ago or so, four weeks ago, I had taken them all down because I wanted to um, just start them, you know, growing with MSM. But you can still see, I can still see where the old nails, I can see the difference between where MSM, uh, the nails with MSM, you know, that have been growing since I've been taking MSM, are coming in and the ones before MSM. So I decided that I'm gonna just continue to take those down uh, so that they grow nice and you know hard from MSM. Anyways, they're growing super fast, so they'll be long again in like a week and a half. So that's what I decided to do. Now, because I've had so many amazing girls commenting in you know the comment section and letting me know a little bit about themselves, I figured since I got to know that a few of the girls are relaxed, me being a previous, you know, relaxed girl, uh, now I'm curly and I'm, I'm happy, I like it, it works for me. Um, I wanted to go ahead and I was relaxed my whole life, you know, it, um, I was left alone with a relative when my mother went on vacation when I was eight and at that age that my aunt decided to relax my hair and she did that twice in one week. So after that, you know, you, it's hard to go back. You really have to cut it off. In order for me to go curly, I had to cut off all of my hair in 2017 so that I can start fresh. Relaxed hair does not come back. It does not go curly again. The chemical really alters the hair. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Not just about, you know, not just to the girls who relax or perm or texturize their hair, but also to the girls who bleach their hair and color their hair, um, you know, with the, with the color that um, strips and deposits at the same time, because you are going to be seeing significant hair growth. So you may be seeing uh, significant hair growth and you may feel that you have to go and touch up I would like to say, being that I have been around those chemicals for a very long time, not just using them, but also in my mother's beauty salon, and you know, being around them, working, you know, helping, you know, around, and um, I would recommend to hold off. I know you're going to see hair growth much faster than you normally would, and that you may feel that it would be, you know, that, that you would need to go ahead and touch it up a little faster. I would say try to still do it at your regular scheduled appointment time just to protect the hair and to try and keep from over processing it. Now if you do use relaxers, perms, texturizer, 
bleach, you know, I know relaxers, parm texturizer, to me are the same thing. To me, they're the exact same thing. You know, they're the same thing for me. Bleach and any, you know, anything that takes out the melanin in the hair and replaces it with a color, those chemicals tend to strip the hair, make them thinner, they can, they, they can actually, I've seen hair so damaged that it actually looks like, oof, like nothing. It looks just like, you know, like when it's dry, it looks okay. But when it's wet, it's gummy, it's stringy, and it's weird. So if you do any of these things, I would recommend you use Olaplex. Olaplex is a great product. It's something that we use at my mother's beauty salon. It, it's a bond restructurizer. It's the only thing that I'm using in my hair right now. I love this stuff, and I have actually seen this stuff work magic. So what Olaplex has to say about their product is... Um, our patented active chemistry works on a molecular level to repair damaged and broken bonds in the hair that are caused by chemical, thermal, and mechanical damage. You can use Olaplex to restore damage and compromised hair or add it to another service to provide the ultimate breakage protection. I'm going to agree with that. You know, that it, <laughs> it does provide the ultimate breakage protection or insurance my insurance it's breakage insurance when my mother when my mother sees a girl coming in and her hair is over processed she makes sure to let them know let's make sure that this doesn't you know that we don't have a bad experience and let's you know let's use olaplex today you know to ensure that you know this comes out good so I would recommend that you do use Olaplex. Um, now, curly hair is actually the thinnest of the hair and relaxers make it even thinner because it actually goes into the hair cuticle, breaks up the bonds, puts them back together in a straight pattern, which makes it a lot thinner. So does bleach. I'm actually gonna put some links in the description so that you can read a little bit about this. Um, so, I believe that maybe, you know, just not get too anxious, you know, before, you know, when you see all this hair growth, you know, before you go ahead and you touch up before your, you know, appointment time, whether you're doing it yourself, whether your friend is helping you, whether it's a relative, your mother, whomever, you know, try to hold off. If you, if you relax your hair, um, try blowing it out you know if you have curly hair don't do it <laughs> I don't blow out my hair because I I don't want to damage my curl pattern but if you um, I'm one of those curly girls that mm, no he no he no he that's because I I, I I don't know I just decided that I didn't want any heat but if you relax your hair then you what you really want is straight hair so it wouldn't matter I would say try uh, blowing it out be careful that you don't give yourself heat damage you know so that you don't burn your hair because we're trying to grow our hair we're trying to make sure that we have nice long healthy hair we're not trying to damage the good things that we're doing with over processing our hair i hope that i'm explaining myself uh okay <laughs> so yes that is about all that i have to say this week it was just a little public service announcement to my girls who use chemicals um, because I want you to achieve your goal. If you are using MSM for hair growth, I have already said it many times before, make sure that you're doing the right thing for yourself. Make sure that you have spoken to your doctor. Make sure that you are monitoring the way that you feel, you know, because we're trying to be healthy. You know, there is no point in trying to grow hair and you know all this stuff if we are by taking something internally if we are damaging it topically so i just want to say thank you to everybody who has given my videos a like i want to say super thank you to all the girls who are uh, chatting with me <clears throat> in the comment section and who have subscribed to my channel i do appreciate you thank you so much i feel like i have made so many new friends i feel like i know so many of you already it's been so great i just want to say thank you and please continue to um, send me your comments uh, and i just want to go ahead and say good night thank you